Okay guys, we're getting ready to go start our day out in Seoul, but as you can see, the hair is a little bit crazy, so I'm gonna have my lovely wife behind the camera give me a haircut, but it takes a little while, so we're gonna speed that process up. Here we go. All cut, all good, let's go. Okay guys, it is yet another beautiful day here in Seoul, and today we have kind of a lofty goal. We're gonna go over back to the uh, the Sky Tower, and over there is actually where their professional baseball team, the Doosan Bears, play. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna go over there and see about getting tickets to a game today, but the game is in like 55 minutes, so we don't know if we can get there in time. We're gonna try to hurry. Yep. Let's go. So let's go. For those of you who kind of follow our channel and follow along with us, I am a pretty big sports fan. I follow the sports back home, even when we're on the road. I just love all sport. I think it's so interesting. And it's very, very interesting to see sport around the world, to see how different cultures do sports. So I'm very interested in this Korean baseball game because I have heard it that, it that it's like a carnival and a baseball game mixed into one. So I heard they're really fun, kind of like, kind of like our minor league baseball back home, how it's kind of a, a really fun atmosphere compared to the major leagues. But the base, but the talent level is supposed to be pretty high still. So. I'm very interested. I hope the tickets are cheap and I hope we can get in. I think it'll be really fun and really, really cool. But so first, we have to try and navigate this behemoth of a metro system. So, 45 minutes to get all the way, all the way there to this metro. I don't know if it's gonna happen. What do you think? Think we got it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wish us luck. Okay, we uh, got off our stop. We're already seeing some Doosan Bears jerseys. So we're just gonna follow them to the stadium and hopefully we can get in. I'm not, I got really excited once I started seeing jerseys. So I really hope we can get in. of a ticket just because we wanted really good seats but they start at 9,000 won per ticket in the outfield and then if you want to sit in like the bleachers like near home plate it was 13,000 and then to sit right by first base where we are gonna be is 17,000 a person so that was roughly it's like it's like under 15 a piece yeah under 15 bucks a piece so we're pretty happy yay now we're seeing a lot of people go into the stadium with food and we passed this place and it looks like you can get like a drink like a beer and like a thing of chicken like on top of it and we're seeing people go in with it so we're in line waiting to get some chicken and beer and we're gonna go catch the game we're in Yay, let's go Okay guys, we have made it into the game. It's already insane. They split the sides. They split like the seats into sides for the team. And when we came in, the Eagles, the away team, they were like already chanting and going crazy. And the stadium is nuts. It's, it looks like a, like a tilted bowl. I think it's a leftover stadium from the Olympics, but they asked us too when we got the um, tickets, like who are you here for? Like Bears or Eagles so that they could see oh you where you're supposed to be. We chose the home team, the Bears, so let's go Bears today. It's gonna be so fun. We're so excited. We got some amazing food. It's like a chicken beer combo. <laughs> We're gonna munch down on it and enjoy some baseball. Let's go! So as you can probably hear behind me, man, they got like coordinated chants, 10,000 people chanting like the same thing. It's like mixing baseball and like soccer together. It's amazing. It's, it's so, so cool. energetic. I wish we were like up in so, the mix. It's amazing how loud they are when they start chanting. Like, I bet you guys can like barely hear us. Like an MC, like 
coordinating this whole thing and like directing the chants. And then it's like the away team has a MC2 directing the chants. Mind you, this is all happening during mid game. Like they're just playing right through all of this. <laughs> so these things right here, they're very, very good. It's just like chicken, fries, a lot of sauce. You got the beer, obviously, and just drink it right through the straw. It was about $15 for both of them. It's really not bad. No, at our home stadium, one beer is $10. So yeah. we got beers and food. Yeah, so this is such a cool atmosphere. This is amazing. So we read online about these games that they're similar to AAA baseball games back home. I could not disagree more. These games, this game has so much more energy than a AAA game, it's it's not even close. The, every, every out, the fans are, they have, they chant every single out. They chant the whole time their team is at bat. And it's not just a few people, it's most of the people yeah. are doing the chants. At AAA games, you know, there's some slides for kids and other games and stuff on the concourse, but this is like, the people are so invested here. So I think the comparison of this to AAA, not an accurate comparison. It's so much fun. I love how they, like we talked about, they see the teams on different sides. So it's like you're battling each other, kind of like you can see the enemy over there. Aim, get up there and be a Bears cheerleader. Okay, they're like star guys. Just got a guy into scoring position. So when this place scores, it's gonna erupt. <laughs> I think he was safe. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Yay! He was safe. I have a feeling, like all other things, if they call this guy safe, this place is gonna erupt again. <laughs> They're playing this like whimsical classical music during the review, and they even have chance to like the re the reviewed call music. Okay, so as you can see, the opposing team is going crazy because they just tied the game. They're kind of, the, the Bears pitcher's getting lit up a little bit here, right here, so our side's a little quiet. I don't know if we said this yet either, they're playing the Hanwha Eagles. The Hanwha Eagles, and the Hanwha Eagles are kind of lighting up this pitcher right now, so come on Bears, let's go. Okay, so. We, uh, we drank our beer, ate our chicken, and we went and got refills. We're just gonna kind of give you guys some perspective on pricing. So yeah. Amy got a medium beer, and it was 4,500 won, which is right around like, like 350, and it's that size. And I got a large, which was 8,000, and it is this size. It's absolutely enormous, and it was like six bucks. So not too bad. In terms of ballpark pricing, where we're from, that is an absolute steal. So, yeah. we're happy. We're pretty happy, yeah. Okay, the Bears just scored again. 3-2 Bears. Let's go. 
They're getting ready to get after it. Doosan Bears, they won. Experience was so fun. What did you think? It really was just like such a good time. I'm a baseball fan. I'm not like a huge sports fan, but I do love baseball and that was definitely a unique experience and I'm really happy we won it. Yep, the price point wasn't too bad either. If you're in Seoul and looking for something to do and the Doosan Bears are in town, definitely a fun way to, you know, kill an afternoon and have, have a good time. So definitely, definitely suggest. Now we are going to, I'm gonna have this little red haired lady lead us somewhere to do something else that's fun before we eat more fried chicken and beer for dinner. Yes, I think let's walk to the river for sunset. Okay. Okay. Okay, so way in the distance, that big tall tower is Sky Tower. We don't really have an objective right now, so we just decided to take a walk to Sky Tower. It's 3.4 kilometers away, but we got nothing else to do, so we're just gonna take a nice walk through Seoul and we're gonna make that tower our objective. We'll show you what we see. If we didn't talk about it already enough last night, the picnic culture, <laughs> and <laughs> the picnic culture in Seoul and maybe South Korea in general I'm not sure is so amazing I mean people are really dedicated to it they have special padded mats and it just looks so romantic if we lived here we would do a lot of picnics oh we definitely would those people set up to like sleep here I know like is this a campground if you know what's up with the uh, the Seoul like picnic and camping culture, let us know in the comments because it's very fascinating to us. It really is. So, okay, we're walking by over here on my right. There's like a football size, like a football field size sandbox. Look at this. Listen, if the motto in Seoul is like, if we're going to do it, we're going to overdo it. Everything is bigger here. <laughs> Just bigger. In terms of buildings and in terms of walking. It seems like to Amy and I, 
like more than 10 million people should live here. Like there's so much like housing and apartments and stuff. And like, this city's so spread out. It's crazy. It's cool. Okay. Amy said it's just meh. It's big and pointy. Now I'm just not as into modern buildings as Marshall is. Marshall loves modern buildings and he thinks this was really cool. It's the fifth it's the fifth tallest building in the world. So just like those giant mega buildings, I just think are so fascinating. Like the engineering and the architecture that goes into them to make them stand and last and be strong. It's just very impressive to me. And this one's very impressive. It's big, it looks like an unshucked corn cob. I don't know if I've ever said something so Midwestern in my entire life. But that's what it looks like. So it looks like right out front there's a mall and we're gonna go into the mall and try and check out the building as much as we can without paying any money. Okay, so we are in, but it looks like it's all like Hermes, Dior, Louis Vuitton, Rolex, Burberry, like <laughs> has not our price range. I think it's a little <laughs> above our belt. Okay, short, well, relatively short, moderately long metro ride back from the Lot Sky Tower. Um, we had a good time there. It was a pretty bougie mall, so we didn't spend too much time. We got a couple cool pictures, um, which were, there were some cool photo opportunities there and kind of just piled around and then hopped on the metro and came on back. But today we've seen a Korean baseball game, the fifth largest tower in the world. And now we're gonna wrap it up with some dinner at one of our favorite places, Kyoja. It is a Michelin star restaurant, but the prices do not reflect that and the food is amazing. Yes, so let's go, because we are starving. Okay, so we are at Kyoja in Seoul in the Myeongdong neighborhood, and it's a Michelin star restaurant, but despite that, it's pretty cheap. It's 10,000 won to 11,000 won per dish. We got three things to try. We're gonna show you guys what we got. Okay, so in terms of those three items, I definitely rank dumplings as first, given that they are completely gone. You can see we love them. And then second are these spicy cold noodles. And I know that sounds weird, the spicy, like, cold noodles, but they're so good. This sauce right here actually has a good spice to it. It's got cucumbers in there for a little bit of freshness. It's got a little bit of, like, ground-up meat, we think, in it. And it's just so crisp fresh, spicy, cooling, all at the same time. And then for me, in third, is the soup. I'm just not a big soup fan and like slimy noodle fan, so soup is definitely in third for me. So they're actually known for their soup. There's only four things on the menu. Dumplings, these spicy cold noodles, this soup, and then I think another like milky soup with green noodles, something like that. But this is what they're known for. It's good. I do like soup. The broth is really rich and flavorful. The noodles are really good too. They're knife cut noodles, but I would say it's not my favorite thing on the menu. What's your fave? My fave is definitely the dumplings. Okay. Yet another successful day exploring beautiful Seoul. We went to a Major League Baseball game here mm -hmm. and we walked to the Lot Tower. We ate some delicious Michelin star food and now it is time to call it a night because tomorrow we have more exploring to do. Yes, tomorrow's a big day. For Amy, we're doing a lot of history and uh, going on some tours of some palaces. So it's gonna be a fun day. Come along with us, it's gonna be great. But we will see you bright and early tomorrow because it's time to go to sleep. Next time on Marshall and Amy.
Okay, we finally made it to Gyeongbokgung Palace. And most importantly, it's where they created the Hangul alphabet. We like obnoxiously loved it. It just gives you like the perfect little warm feeling inside. So we are in the Bukchon Hanok village. 